fighting hands upon our family. We lift up your holy name, O Lord, because we still answer prayers even in your church. Father, we say that we are exalted in our name of Jesus. We have gathered at your feet this morning. Daddy, minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all our declarations become manifestation. Thank you because of the Lord. At the end of this service, let all glory, all honor and adoration be yours and yours alone in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Then what is what? And the world heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Father, let your word deliver from every form of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all receive help from above and let your abundant mercy deliver our goodness to our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because of answer. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. I shout hallelujah. King of Judah, 
in the twelfth month, in the five and twenty day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of history, lifted up the head of Joachim, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison, and spoke only unto him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with, with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments, and he did continually, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his diet, there was a continual diet given him by the king of Babylon. Every day, a portion of his day of his death, all the days of his life. Second Samuel, chapter 9. Second Samuel, chapter 9. Somebody will say, I know where he's going. When she mentioned Second Samuel, chapter 9, I know what is there. God will surprise you this morning. Amen. And David said, Is there yet any who is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was from the house of Saul a servant whose name was in Ziba. And when they had called him unto David, the king said unto him, And thou Ziba? And he said, That servant is he. And the king said, is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of God unto him? And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan had a, yet a son who's, who is lame on his feet. And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Machael, the son of Amiel in Lodibar. The king David said, Saint, and fetch him out of the house of Machael, the son of Amiel, from Lodibar. Now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was, was come unto David, he fell on his face and did obeisance. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold, thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show the kindness of for Jonathan, thy father's sake. I will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat at my table continually. And he bowed himself and said, What is thy servant, that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog as I am? Then the king called to Ziba, so servant, and said unto him, I have given unto them, master son, all that pertain to Saul, and to all his house. The mercy of God will deliver your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at the book of James, chapter 2, verse 13. James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. The mercy of the Lord will deliver your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The place where we read in the book of Jeremiah, we saw the account of the sons of Judah that were taken to captivity. And the king, their king, was there. And he had been there for many years. And the king died, and another king came in, whose name was Ibu Merodak. Don't mind the English word, the, the English evil that is there. You know, the people that interpreted the, the, the Bible, there are some things they put there. In the original meaning, the original, it is A-V-E-L, A-V-E-L, Abel Madoch. Abel Madoch. Or oh, it will be A-M-I-L, A-M-I-L, Madoc. And the meaning is, is one of the gods, one of the gods, the, the deity, the worship in Babylon. So that, in, in the name of the king was named after those gods that they worship there. The king came in, whose name they called Ibu Merodach. Which I'm going to be referring to as 
about Madoc. And the man look at their own team, a stranger, a slave, who had been in prison, though he's the king, he was the king in New Judah, but was brought to the land of Babylon. And he looked at him and he brought him out from the prison. He changed his garment. He told him, You will eat on my table. And not only that, I'm going to be giving you allowance as a king. Nothing is in his own father's land, in a strange land where he's supposed to be a slave. I pray for you today. Wherever the enemy has locked you, the mercy of the Lord will bring you out. Amen. I said, no matter what has kept you in that prison, no matter what took you there, no matter who took you there, I don't know how many people have died in that same condition in your father's house. By the mercies of the Lord and by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming out of that prison in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command your spirit to come out of that prison. Amen. Say, I am coming out. I say, I am coming out. And the book of Second Samuel that we just read was the account of a young man that was born. He was not born then, but because of the war, he became a lame. And they have to put him somewhere. In Lod, that the place that called, he was living with the son of Amiel in Lodiba. Lodiba is the place of the forgotten. Lodiba is the place of people that does not matter. Lodiba is the place where people that have not received mercy, they dwell. Lord Believer is a place that does anyone that desire good things will not live there. So as far as I thought there are some good people there, concerning this man, as far as he's concerned, he has been taken to that place, it's a place of the forgotten. But they gave him to power. And he said, is there no, so, no one in the house of Saul that I can show mercy to because of Jonathan? Because of the covenant that happened between myself and Jonathan. I remember the covenant and I must, I must not allow anyone from that house to suffer. And they remember the man he looked at and they brought him out. I pray for you today by the name of the Most High God, that whatever that represents money don't divide your life. Today is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Every location that represents no divide your life, you are coming out today in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> there shall be a relocation in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> So you will say the mercy of God will deliver your goodness. What is mercy? Mercy, according to the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word is chest. C H E C E T. C H E C E T. And when you look at it in the Old Testament, that word, you will see it in the Old Testament about 248 places. And in about 149, they interpret it to mean mercy. In about 40 places, it's interpreted as kindness. In about 30 places, it's referred to as loving kindness. So what is mercy? Mercy is, is God's law that responds to human needs in an unexpected or unmerited way. I think it again that the mercy of God is the love of God that, res that responds to human need in an unexpected and unmerited way. It is the response of God to what he seen in the life of those one that he, he died for. Those one is the, is, the, is the love of God when he sees oh, that no, I'm going to change your situation. It can be described again. You can say that because a lot of people tell you that, oh, mercy is about forgiveness. 
is about withholding of punishments. It is much more than that. Mercy is the giving of help or compassion to someone that is afflicted. Is the giving of help or compassion to someone that is afflicted. So, if we look at it as well, compassion, what's the meaning of compassion? When you see somebody and you pity the person, that it's not just pity, you look at the person that I, I have to do something for this person. That is compassion. And it's described, you have to define it, say, compassion is system. Sympathetic pity, sympathetic pity, and concern for the suffering or misfortune of others. It is sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering or the misfortune of other people. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 9, Reading from verse 6 to verse 7, Matthew chapter 9, verse 6, verse 6 to verse 7, the Bible said, Jesus Christ was going, and he saw the people that gathered together, and he said, in his heart, I need to do something for these people. Within his heart, he had compassion on them. Beloved of God, the God that we serve is the God of mercy. As we see in the book of Psalm 86, verse 15. Psalm 86, verse 15. Let's look at it. God is a God of mercy. By that, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. He's full of compassion, He's full of grace. Grace is forgiveness of sins. Taking away the punishment that we deserve and give unto us the blessing that we do not deserve. Our God is full of compassion. He is full of mercy. When he sees you going through something, he wants to change that situation. And know this, beloved of the Lord. Do not allow what you are going through to make you to think that our God is not a merciful God. Or to think that God does not want to do something for me. No, our God is a God that is always looking for opportunity to show mercy to his own. How do I know? Psalm 25 verse 10. Psalm 25 verse 10. Psalm 25 verse 10. He says, all the parts of the law are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. If you are a covenant keeper, you keep the covenant of the law. You obey the covenant of the law. The covenant of the law, that law wants to show you mercy. Today you will receive mercy. Yeah. I know this. Let it be deep seated within you. That mercy, God's mercy is a catalyst. Now, when, 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 when you say this school, we learned about when we were in the chemistry lab, they said they told us that this is something that's a, a catalyst, it's the one that speed up reaction. It speed up the chemical reaction. Or is it speed up the process of chemical reaction? Am I right, man? Praise the Lord. I still remember what happened about 31 years ago. Praise the Lord. When you put it there, you speed up the reaction. So, when mercy drops into your life, you speed up the fulfillment of your God of the destiny. Therefore, you cannot receive mercy and remain stagnant. No! Once the mercy of the Lord touch you, people will see you and they will know that something has happened. You can't receive mercy and not know it. You do not need to introduce to other people that this is the mercy I've received. They will see it in their eyes. Mercy is like a 
elevator. You enter a lift. You go. He takes you from level zero to level twenty-five within five minutes. If people are dropping in other places, if not, you press. You enter. You are the only one. Nobody has pressed up anywhere. He just takes you room, and you are just you see yourself here. He changes your level. What can this message do? What can this message do? The mercy of the Lord took away the blindness of the man called Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. The book of Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. The man was blind. Probably had done everything and nothing has worked. So when he saw Jesus, he began to say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And mercy answered. Jesus can heard that. The Lord will hear you today. Amen. And as the Lord heard him, not only the, the Lord responded, the Lord can hear you and not respond. Today the Lord will respond. Amen. The Lord said, call him for me. He said, what do you want? He said, that my eyes will open. He said, receive your sight. And you see it. The, blind, the blindness was taken away. me. And they began to see. I pray for you. Whatever has blindfolded you that have made you to remain in the same spot, by the mercy of the Lord today, receive your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The instruction you need for your life to move forward, receive mercy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. When you receive mercy, number two, you will be single out of the crowd. And I know the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 14. Genesis chapter 41 verse 14. David, uh, Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Where is Joseph? Bring him out for me. And they went to the prison to bring him out. He changed his garment. He shaved. And he appeared before the Egyptian. And the Egyptian changed the story of that man. There are so many people in prison pray. There are so many people believing. But Joseph was single out. You will be single out. Yeah. When he's single out, he decorated it. You will be decorated. Yeah. Your status will change. Yeah. Your story will change. Yeah. You have been telling story from today. You begin to tell testimonies. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. When you look at the book of Psalm 18, verse 44, 43. Psalm 18, verse 43. Psalm 18, verse 43. You have delivered me from the striving of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. That was all part of Joseph. In the same man, Joseph became the prime minister. So it does not matter your nationality when the mercy of God speaks for you. He delivered your hands what God has written concerning you. It does not matter even your grades. Probably you had not done pass. Let my people go. And some people have first class. When the mercy of God comes to that, you will be preferred above others. You will be singular. They will call out your name. They will remember your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number three. When the mercy of God locates you, your case will receive attention. When the mercy of God locates you, your case will receive attention. Second Samuel chapter 9 verse 1. Is there anyone in the house of so that I may show you mercy? The gaze of, of that young man, Mephibosheth, receive attention. I, mean. I pray for you, your case will receive attention. Amen. And the man did not go until he settled that case. Your case will receive attention and it will be permanently settled in the mighty name of Jesus. How best can we describe it that a young lady who was bringing air under the bridge in Lagos, in Kenya, Lagos? 
A young lady came, young lady came, she braided the hair of that, that young lady. And the lady went to America. And they said, who made this hair for you? He said, one, one, one lady under the bridge in the Kenya, they go, do you have a phone number? He said, yes, I'm bringing her to this country so that I'll be making fresh hair for my friend. And the lady landed in America, started making hair, traveling, flying for, it's not by road, traveling by air to different places to go and be making hair. And God prosper. That one will prosper you. Yeah. Your case will be mentioned. Yeah. I say your case will be mentioned. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Number four. When the mercy of God locates you, you will be remembered. Yeah. When, the mer when the mercy of God locates you, you will be remembered. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Esther chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Esther chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says that the king could not sleep. God arrested the sleep of the king. And the king said, Bring me the book. They brought the book of the things that happened. The diary of things that happened in the palace. And he opened. The big name must be very voluminous. He now opened to the page. Where it was the thing that what guy did that was done in body was there. He said, Was there anything that was done for the person that did this? He said, No, hey! I'm gonna bring him out. And that day, the story of what guy did. I pray that I will remember you. Yeah. I say that Lord will remember you. Yeah. <laughs> A young man was making furniture somewhere in Africa. He made funny of somebody, and the person relocated to America. And the person got to America and wanted to make chairs. He said, Oh, I want to make chairs. There are many men everywhere. He said, I don't want that one. I want that man that used to make chairs for me. Let him come to America and come and make chairs. That's how they go to America. Carpenter went to America. They will break protocols because of you in the magic world. Yeah. The Lord will remember you and they will break all protocols because of you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it again. Because of you, they will break protocols in the mighty name of Jesus. That of that good that look like an iron that you can't move up. The hand, I see the hand of the Lord moving it so that you can move to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. When God remembers you, and he show you mercy. Your location, your position, your status will change. When God, when God locates you, when God remembers you, when God show you mercy, your address will change, your position will change, Amen. your status will change. Amen. When you look at that book, for Samuel chapter 9, what happened to that young man? He changed location. He changed his status. He called himself dog because he's no longer dog. He began to eat on the table of the king. And I remember praying with a woman that was walking the bank. And the woman, the woman called me one day, after many years, she said, Rajola, I can't remember what I was here, I just remember. She called me. She said, she was crying Sunday evening. She began to cry. I said, what happened? He said, Pastor, I need your prayer. I need your prayer. What happened? He said, what happened today? I've never seen anything like that. What happened? They came to church on Sunday. Then this church, and the husband was assistant pastor. And the mother is assistant the general overseer. So it was the, like the parish coordinator. And the man said, the Lord told me I must resign from being the general overseer of this church. And that I should give the church to you, my assistant. I will change the document, everything from today you become general overseer. They have many parishes in Nigeria. They have the UK, they have in America. He said, not only that, all the vehicles that I have, that I never that I was such a gift. So the woman began to cry. He said, I don't know where to start. I don't know. This, this can only be God. I said, What about the man? He said, he said, he said, God told him that you must start something new. I said, because of you. 
the mercy of the Lord will locate you. Yeah. And that will God has written concerning you shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because of you, some people will go and start afresh. Yeah. Some people will be relocated. Yeah. So the Lord will promote some people yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know when God wants to promote somebody, he will make the person ahead to be promoted. The young man came to that Jew and said, Sir, pray for me. That Jew will pray for him. Go to, go to become a teacher manager. They go there. They interview him. Say, come back tomorrow. They employ him for that. When he came back the second day, they said, We are taking you in the position of MD instead of manager. He returned the third day. He said, Because you have become the MD now, the chairman saw you yesterday. He said, You are capable to be the chairman of this company. He has received a higher offer somewhere. He said he's going there, he has resigned. Will, sir, will you be our chairman? Because of you, the Lord will talk this around in our children. Yeah. Yeah. So far, yeah. Yeah. because of your mercy, turn this around so that I can be elevated, so that your name can be glorified. my life. Go ahead and speak to your Lord. Speak to your Lord because of me. Take this, O Lord. Take this, O Lord. So that I can testify on the altar of mercy, O Lord. Father, turn the old Bible upside down and inside down so that I can locate my place. Thank you, Jesus. For Jesus' precious name, we are ready. Number six. When you have received the mercy of the Lord, your appointment with death will be abated. I talk about here, amen. amen. I saw a dead man yesterday. Somebody came, he sat down here in September. He died yesterday. I was here, he called me, I went there. I saw him, he's on my phone. I saw a dead man. And I began to look at him. I said, I call his name. I said, so you have come. You will not die on time death. Yeah. Everywhere they are programmed you for time death, the mercy of the Lord will be it in the name of Jesus. How do I know? <laughs> you look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 9, Jeremiah chapter 52, verse 1, 31 to 34. If you start reading from verse 17, there are so many priests so many kings have been killed in Babylon. But concerning this man, he was promoted. They brought him up. And to let you know, because the people of the Lord did not, were not happy with what the king, that man did, even my brother, they killed him in two years. Because it was against their law to bring up a prisoner to decorate him, tell his story. In two years, they killed him. You remember the book of Daniel? A king was going to die in the night. Daniel interpreted the dream. He promoted Daniel, and the, the fall in the night, he died. I pray for you, concerning you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every blessing that is for you, either the hand of the king, either the hand of government, either the hand of somebody else. You will receive your portion. Either from your father's house, your mother's house, people you know, people you don't know, they will deliver the package. In the mighty name of Jesus. There was a king, that was, that was a, a president in my country who was about to be killed. He received the mercy of the Lord. The man. The man was arrested that he knew about who the man is called Ambassador. He was going to be he was going to be killed that he, he, he they plan coup. And they didn't plan a coup. The, the king that was going to sign, the president that was going to sign, I don't know what he did, ex, I don't know what he did, but the man died. So a, a brother that was supposed to be killed, now the president of open for him. So he did not die. Another person died for him. I pray for you. We have we are programmed you for eternity day. Another person will take your place. The rest of the Lord will deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Another point. When 
the mercy of the Lord locate you, your head will be lifted. Amen. You will be addressed as a honorable man. Amen. Your throne will be above everyone. Amen. Your garment will change. Amen. You will eat well. Amen. They will they will feed you with their own food. Amen. And you will no longer be poor. Second King chapter 25, verse 27 to 30. Second King 25, verse 27 to 30. The Bible told us about this same man. That even when you are calling inside, he changed his garden, he changed his name, he gave him food, he was giving him allowance. I pray for you. That which needs to happen for your financial status to change, the mercy of the Lord will change it today in our mighty name of Jesus. I see the mercy of the Lord will locate it today and change it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your neighbor will turn to favor when the mercy of the Lord locates you. Romans chapter 9, verse 15 to 16. Romans 9, chapter 15 to 16. He said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That this is not of him that will let of him that will let of the Lord that showed mercy. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians. So 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. He told us, I put no, he said, I planted, I put no water. It is not about the one that plants. It's not about the one that planted, but the one that gives give increase. So what God says about you is the final. So it does not matter where you are coming from. It does not matter who you are working for. That will God want to do concerning you. The mercy of the Lord will deliver it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Your story will change in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, because of our time, generations yet unborn. Will be a beneficiary of the blessing that the mercy of God has delivered. Amen. Amen. Generations yet unborn, they will be a beneficiary of the blessings that the mercy of God has delivered. Amen. Look at Psalm 89, reading from verse 20 to 36. Psalm 89, from verse 20 to 36. As what they are not called, they call the sure mercies of David. What's it concerning you? I will change your story. Even if your children they sin against me, I will not kill them. I will chastise them with the rod of, of blood of men. And the throne will never depart from your father's house. Excuse me. That is generational blessing. Now you are being eaten alone now from today. You are moving to the realm of generational blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. That investment, that idea, that thing that you are going to do, that continue to produce for your children, children. I pray for you today that the mercy of the Lord will deliver to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the question now is this. What must I do for this mercy to speak for me? You must be upright. You must be upright. Psalm 11, verse 24. The law of mercy has said in his word. Psalm 11, verse 24. Sorry. It speaks about the, 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 the upright, those that are upright before the law will receive mercy. I didn't write the, the right, right sign. But the upright shall receive the mercy of the Lord. I think that. Let me go back to it. When you are upright before the Lord, you will receive the mercy of the Lord. That's why I say, seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And number two, be merciful. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7. Those that are merciful to others, they will receive mercy. Galatians chapter 2 verse 3. When you bear the body of other people, God will bear your own body. Stand on your feet. But when you cry to the Lord, you don't have any other prayer. And go, I need your mercy. I need your mercy. 
So you are going to catch the Lord. Say, Father, I need your mercy. In every area of my life, let your mercy speak for my life. Father, I speak to the Lord. Father, my Lord, in every area of my life, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your message speak for me. Let your message speak for me. In the morning, let your message speak. In the afternoon, let your message speak. In the evening, let your message speak. In my marriage, let your message speak. Father, my Lord, oh, in every area of my life, let your message speak for me. Let your message be a voice out of my life. From today, let your message speak for me. Thank you, our God. For Jesus' precious name, we are praying. The mercy of God removed blindness. The mercy of God brought Joseph out of the prison. The mercy of the Lord brought the case of Mephibosheth to the attention of the king. You are going to pray to the Lord. Say, Father, let your mercy speak for me. Remove my blindness. Bring my case to the attention of the kings. Let your mercy speak for me. Let me be remembered. Let my story change. Change my status. is 
discover. Amen. Your sickness is healed. Amen. God will be noted for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen.